It's day 19. <laughs> I don't know. I decided I should start this with a different energy. It was not welcomed. I pretty much have the same level of energy year round. 25 8. Tired. Old. Not even old. I work with people who weren't born when I was five. It's very... Me too. It's very, it's very demeaning. <laughs> it's demoralizing. I'm tired of these children I showing up in the workplace. <laughs> Gonna be my boss someday. Jesus. Calling it the hashtag instead of the pound sign. Just uncomfortable. We started this video. The past two days, both videos starting. Very sad about the real world. Life is sad. Today, we are drinking Puncacino. What a precious sounding name. Mm-hmm. Very, uh, very themed. Does it have caffeine in it? Um. Am I going to feel alive after I drink this? They use, um, Stumptown Coffee. I, I believe that's a oh, brand. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so they use, it's like a collab with them, I suppose. They're like, they got the okay to use That's cool. their specific one in it. Yeah. It's from, I've heard the name pronounced different so many times. Elysian, Elysian, well, however you like it. They do Space Dust, Dragon's Tooth. They, they do some pretty good beers, too, that are, uh, that are not seasonal. But this is, is clearly seasonal. Um, it's released between... Or during September and the October time for, obviously for Halloween. Um, it's a coffee pumpkin ale. If that wasn't clear. Yeah. Um, like I said, they use Stumptown coffee. It's 6%. It's supposed to taste like coffee and then with hints of like cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, you love cinnamon. I love I'm going to use that sound bite now. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're based in uh, Seattle, Washington, so I have pretty high hopes for their uh, their coffee flavored things. Let's we'll see what happens. We're about to see what happens. What do you hmm. see? Smells like coffee. Yes, it does. Like the beans. Smells like coffee and pumpkin. Are so good. Well, that just smelled like my hand lotion, but I mean, you know. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but like, I could see why other people would think this is good. I like it. You're not allowed that's, to say I like everything. That's what I'm saying, though, is like, this is not for me, but I also don't like pumpkin, cinnamon, or nutmeg, which are like three of the four ingredients of this beer, <laughs> so, or three of the five ingredients. So it kind of, you know, it's bound to be a lose-lose for me. If I had liked it, it would have been a freaking miracle. It would have been really incredible, but, you know, life doesn't work like that, so. She's yelling. Well, my, my first impression, it's super easy to drink, and it's not, um... My first, I was like, my first thoughts, strong. <laughs> easy to drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's easy to drink. I mean, it's not like, it's very true to what it says it is. Like, it's going to taste exactly like I read. Like, it's coffee, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin, yeah. But like. The pumpkin is a small, mm -hmm. smaller flavor than I the others, but. Yeah, I'm glad it's not as, like a. Here's pumpkin with two drops of coffee. So I don't really like pumpkin either. Uh, it's growing on me. Do you have any thoughts, feels, or opinions? It's gonna do bad things to your teeth, everybody. There it is for the dark beer video line. Just letting them know. Uh, I don't think I could drink more than like one. Like I. I get it's, I get tired of the flavor. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's almost too to one point. Um, yeah, like it's almost too festive. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's 
This bottle honestly might even be too big for the flavor. This is a, mm -hmm. a pint and six ounces. Like, um, unless this is your thing, like if you look forward to pumpkin spice coming out every year and like you're all about that pumpkin coffee. I don't think it's that strong though. Like I don't think it's strong enough that you're like, yes, pumpkin beer. I think it's flavorful and it's seasonal, but it's not like, I don't think it, I don't know. I can't, this is, happening. She had a stroke. I'm overwhelmed. No, I just don't think it's like, I don't want to be like too critical and be like, oh, it's not that good, but like, it's not that good. That's not that it's not that good. That's not what I mean. Like that sounds mean, but like, it's definitely not my normal style. I like um, I like coffee beers. One of my favorites are um, Naughty Sauce from from Noble in Anaheim. Like, I think that's great, and it's a you know it's a golden milk stout. But like, it's oh my god, it's made with coffee, and so like I like that um, Prairie. Uh, it's called like Prairie Artisan or Artisan uh, Brewing. They do one called um, Bomb, and it's a uh, spiced coffee stout and that's honestly like one of my favorites too so I don't not like coffee beer I think yeah like what you said it might be just too seasonal for its own good for me she finished it that's what I'm saying like it doesn't taste like anything I don't know how to explain it like it tastes but it doesn't It tastes like what it's supposed to, but it's not overpowering and it's not like detrimental to the tasting experience, if that makes any sense. Hmm. So how many skulls do you give this? <laughs> what? I can't like put, I can't put my finger on it because I don't want to say that it's like I'm enjoying it. But I don't hate it. But I don't know what it is about it that's enjoyable. Like, it's very difficult to nail down. It's The coffee flavor is coming across as the strongest point for sure. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go four. Ooh. I'm feeling generous. Just gave him a four. I'm giving him a four. Yeah, that was funky. But, um, yeah, four. That's one of your higher ratings. I just, because it's not bad, so, like, I don't know, like, why would I give it a three? Like, three is, like, just, I mean, maybe it is a three. Maybe it's just okay. But the drinkability is good. I'm enjoying it. <sighs> it sounds like it did cross into four territory for you. I guess. You got that solid four. No. I'm it's not calling it four. solid. I'm saying it's like a 3.99999. We're not here to give partial grades. It's a four. We're rounding up, everybody. Exactly. Um, I'm actually going to give it a three. Only because... I don't know. I think my version of a four would be something that like I'd want more than one of. And... I don't think I want more than one of these, even though this is good and I don't think it's a bad beer at all. Just, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want another one to be like, hey, that was good. And then I'd like look at the rest of the tap list and get something else. Everybody could help is if you guys go try this and let us know what you think. Because I, I don't I think this one would be like one that a lot of people would have a lot of different ratings on mm -hmm. depending on what they're into what they're not into if they're like whatever about beer super into it like i feel like you get a good range of um of ratings from just anybody at all and so it'd be a fun uh fun debate with people i guess if you want to talk about it i don't feel like it's giving me any energy yeah maybe they should uh up the caffeine intake uh, yeah Alright, well, day 19, 
That's uh, it's down. Again, more spoopy surprises and things coming to you. So stay tuned. You will want to see what happens next. Yes, you will. It's gonna be fun. Be a good time. We will see you guys tomorrow for day twenty. And wrapping the, up this month. Wrapping up the month. Oh my god. <laughs> Coming up on the, on the last week. Yep. Whoa. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Shouldn't be watching this anyway. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys for 20. Peace.